Today's video conference is brought to you in partnership by Clean Power Alliance and the Filipino American Chamber of Commerce, South Bay, Los Angeles area. Well, hello. How are you? How is everybody today on another Friday afternoon with the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce? And we here today have a special guest, and he is going to talk about a very, very important part of the aid of the first uh, of the CARES Act of the of our uh, country to help us with the pandemic. Um, with me here is Kat Aniba. She's one of the board of directors and a fellow host here in the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce livecast and soon to be on television. <laughs> and uh, she will introduce our guest for today. Thank you, Janus. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in to our weekly live stream. Today's guest, we have Andre Aguirre, and he is the Senior Product Advisor for Heartland Cable Solutions. He lives and works in Irvine, Orange County. And in addition to helping small businesses with their payroll and human resources needs, he also helps them with their credit card, debit card processing, e-commerce, and business lending needs through Heartland's additional business solutions. He began his career in the financial industry back in 2002 with one of the largest banks in America. And he's very excited to be here with us today to share what he's doing at Heartland and to answer any of your questions um, you may have that pertains to you and your small business. So Andre, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Kat, and thank you, Janice. And thank you for everyone in attendance this afternoon. Hello, everyone. And first and foremost, I hope that you all are personally and uh, your family and your staff employees are all healthy, safe, and doing well. So I'd like to um, begin by sharing my screen and going straight into the PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared. So bear with me here just a quick moment. While he does that, Andre here was able to help a few of our members of the Philippine American Chamber of Commerce of South Bay, Los Angeles area. And so we're so glad to have him here today and share to us how he did that. Thank you. Janice, Kat, can either of you see my first slide? Can you confirm? There you go. Okay, terrific. All right, here we go. So first I wanted to show a quick photo of myself. Um, those of you from the chapter will recognize Fred in the center. And then at the far left, you have David Chandler. He was uh, one of my partners with Heartland uh, Payment Systems. And I just wanted to show a quick photo. Next, I wanted to go into a little bit about my background and professional experience. So I live and work in Irvine and I'm married to my wife, Laura. And we just celebrated our four year wedding anniversary this past May. Uh, my family is actually from Ecuador, and I speak Spanish fluently. Uh, as Kat mentioned earlier, um, I worked for one of the largest banks in America. That was Wells Fargo Bank for a total of 16 years and 10 months. And the last seven years, I wanted to, to show briefly here, uh, encompassed four years as a business banker in Newport Beach near Fashion Island in Cronin Del Mar. And my last three years were as a business payroll services consultant with Wells Fargo Payroll, where I was actually a partner to well over 20 different Wells Fargo branch locations in Orange County. A little background on how I went from Wells Fargo Bank to Heartland. In March of 2019 of last year, Wells Fargo Bank sold Wells Fargo Payroll to ADP. And um, we had several hundreds of employees within this line of business that were actually displaced. Um, I was one of them. Uh, you can imagine that was quite uh, the shock to my system, uh, being that I had almost over 16 years, going on 17 years with the bank. So very quickly, I went on LinkedIn, began uh, being recruited by different various companies like ADP actually, Paychex, Benefit Mall, Heartland, uh, Bank of America for merchant services, and even State Farm for business insurance. And I say this very humbly that I was very blessed to have those opportunities 
uh, come my way and I interview with many of the companies that I just mentioned. Well, in June of last year, I started working with Heartland as a senior product advisor and relationship manager. And I'm proud that I can say that I consult with business owners all across America and I'm able to bring the full value of our products and services to their businesses. So a little background in, in, uh, in terms of my uh, history and professional experience. So our parent company is Global Payments, which is a, a publicly held company traded on the New York Stock Exchange under GPN. You'll see Fortune Magazine number 703. Um, Global Payments is a member of the S&P 500. So Heartland is owned by Global Payments. There's our parent company. And Global Payments actually purchased Tesis and Mobile Bytes in 2019. Some of you may have heard of those uh, companies. Okay. And our Heartland Payment Systems actually integrates with over 650 softwares. So a little overview there. This is a quick snapshot of the company that we keep. So you'll see many of the different businesses, uh, large, large, well-known companies that we are proud to do business with. Caesars Palace, Jack in the Box, Taco Bell, Hard Rock Cafe, Wendy's. Okay, I wanted to share this quote directly from our website, which speaks to the core values that I found in common with Heartland and was part of the reason that I chose to move forward with the company. We serve businesses of all sizes, vested in helping you achieve your goals. Honesty, fairness, and transparency are our core values and how you can expect to be treated as our partner. We focus on customer relationships and take pride in serving as your advocate. So a little bit about Heartland, the company. Heartland began in 1997 with a simple plan to provide fair, fully disclosed payment solutions and be an advocate for clients. So the company began in 97 with Heartland Payment Systems, which grew and is now the fifth largest payments provider. And when I mean by payments provider, merchant services, the credit card and debit card processing. Heartland Payment Systems is the fifth largest payments provider in the United States. So here is a little bit about the Merchant Bill of Rights, which Heartland actually wrote. And I'll read a few of them with you. The right to know the fee for every card transaction and who's charging it. The right to know the markup of card brand fee increases. The right to know all card brand fee reductions. The right to know all transaction middlemen. The right to know all surge, surcharges and billbacks. I won't go through them all, but I wanted to share with you how we believe in fairness and transparency and that Heartland actually wrote this Bill of Rights for merchants. So we do have a commitment to fairness and transparency. So this is a quick snapshot of visa deposits, less visa pass through interchange and fees, MasterCard deposits, Discover deposits. So there at the bottom, you can see the total deposits in this example and the total credit card fees. So our pricing model features true interchange plus pricing. There are no hidden fees. Heartland believes in transparency and we are proud to show our profit on the front page of our processing statements as summarized below. Understanding middlemen. So you can see many of you probably have done business with First Data, WorldPay, Elevon, Chase Payment Tech, Vantive. They go, they're the, cred, the credit card processors which go through ISOs, independent sales organizations, like Bank of America, like Chase, like Wells Fargo Bank, which then the bank also utilizes sub ISOs like transaction resources and CMS, okay? Which then they go through 1099 contractors, which then the funds get transferred into the merchant's checking account. On the far right, you'll see Heartland as the credit card processor we take care of processing the transaction from beginning to end, and the funds are deposited to our clients' bank accounts the next business day. You can see the difference there. No middlemen, no ISOs, no, no sub ISOs. Here's a quick uh, photo of one of our Heartland Services Centers. So we have a few corporate headquarters, one being in Oklahoma City in Oklahoma, 
and then we have one in Jeffersonsville, Indiana. So our headquarters in Jeffersonsville, Indiana actually provides 24 hour day, 365 days a year uh, customer service to our payment processing clients. And we have software and network support for over 400,000 of our merchant services clients across the country. Okay, next I wanted to share with you some of our Heartland products and industries. So we have payroll solutions, we have mobile payments, payment processing, e-commerce, point of sale solutions, billing solutions, gift and loyalty cards. Next, I wanted to show some of the common industries that we do business with, restaurants, hospitality, retail, liquor stores, grocery, gas and convenience stores, healthcare, municipalities, education, nonprofits, laundry, parking, and vending. And this is a quick snapshot of our products. So of course, we've been speaking about merchant services. We also offer payroll and HR, gift card and loyalty cards, mobile payments, lending, which I'll discuss later in the presentation, so business capital. We do have point of sale solutions, solutions for e-commerce, billing, and school payments. Okay. With regards to our card processing, we are a direct processor for Visa, MasterCard, Amex, and Discover. Authorization and settlement platforms we own. We provide fair pricing models for processing and equipment. We have our 24 service and support, which is award-winning. And one of the major distinctions is that we actually have a three-year pricing guarantee. With terms of that guarantee, we have full disclosure of all our fees and profitability. There's no increase in profit margin during the three-year term, no junk fees. And we do provide true pass-through pricing, which includes when there are decreases. Heartland Secure. So we have the most secure secured card processing solution in the industry, backed by a comprehensive warranty, combination of Europay, MasterCard, Visa, EMV, end-to-end -end encryption, and tokenization. Customers' credit card data protected as soon as the card is issued, making all card data completely useless to hackers. Heartland Payroll Services. Again, I mentioned that I am a senior project advisor for Heartland and a relationship manager. My specific area of focus is within our Heartland Payroll division. So I primarily consult with clients to onboard them onto our payroll service. But again, being a senior product advisor, I'm able to bring the full benefits and value of all of our solutions to all of my clients and businesses across the country. And so here with payroll, we offer compliance with local, state, and federal tax laws and regulations. We offer different payment methods to the employees like check, direct deposit, or even a Visa debit card. We provide all reporting for W-2, 1099, and seasonal employees. We offer spe industry-specific reporting at no additional charge. We eliminate the nickel and dime fees common in the payroll industry. And we have an HR support center available as well. So really quickly here, I wanted to show our customer satisfaction rankings. So we have an excellent net promoter score. We have an A+, better business bureau rating and we have an 8.5 new client satisfaction rating. A couple quick quotes. I have never had the pleasure of working with a company in which every person I speak with or get assistance from is friendly, knowledgeable, and helpful. It is rare in the business environment to find this these days. The system is easy to use and the support staff is amazing. No hassles, easy setup. Payroll is right every time. So before I continue into the next portion of my presentation, which is in regards to business capital and our lending division, I wanted to pause and see if we had any questions so far. Hi, Andre, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, can you start from the beginning? Say um, I'm a small business and I need a full-time um, company and they use ADP, but say I start my 
my own business. Is there a minimum number of employees in order to sign up with Heartland? Kat, it did cut out throughout your question, but I think I heard the end, which is, is there a specific or minimum employee count that a business owner yeah. has to have in order to qualify for our payroll solution? Yes. So yes. we offer payroll solutions to all companies of varying sizes, even mm -hmm. the employer that has one employee or mm -hmm. even that um, company that has an S corporation, they're the single shareholder and they're looking to pay themselves monthly. Um, we provide services even to uh, a business owner and company um, in that type of situation. I actually have many clients that are um, one man, one woman, uh, corporations, S corps, single shareholders. Mm -hmm. And I've had the pleasure of building relationship with them and providing our payroll solution. So for, that type of situation, that company mm -hmm. with one person, mm -hmm. uh, we offer auto processing okay. and it's, and that is a great and, and, and convenient method of handling the payroll, especially if that individual is on a set salary, the, yeah. the payroll is processed automatically. They mm -hmm. receive their direct deposit monthly and we handle all of the payroll tax payments to the EDD and to the IRS okay. and we provide all of the quarterly payroll tax reporting filings and year end reports, including the W-2. So okay. thank you for the question, Kat. I was going to ask, um, what's the benefit if you're just a one person um, company <laughs> of <laughs> signing up for Heartland, but you just mentioned it. <laughs> a lot of benefits there. Yeah, I see uh, now. A lot um, of benefits. Also, what is the training process like? Do you come in and we? it's a whole new software, right? So we do have our own proprietary software. Uh -huh. So our payroll site is heartlandpayroll.com. Mm -hmm. So think of Amazon, Kat, mm -hmm. and, and to everyone in attendance. Uh, I'm sure that no one that I'm sure that many of us or all of us have shopped mm -hmm. on Amazon before. Yeah. Uh, however, most of us probably never had anyone show us how to use the website, how to add an add a an item to the cart and how to do the checkout mm -hmm. so i use this analogy with our payroll system it actually is so user friendly and okay. easy to use and navigate that it doesn't actually require any training mm -hmm. however every, you know many different people have varying uh skill level and set when it comes to technology and software mm -hmm. so of course we assign an implementation specialist to each of our clients, which mm -hmm. is there to hold their hand, especially during the first two payrolls. Yeah. And I, as my client's relationship manager, I'm also there to hold their hand and ensure that everything goes smoothly. One of the distinctions and benefits of Heartland Payroll Solutions is that after that implementation is complete, our client has processed two separate payrolls, their relationship is now assigned to a permanent payroll specialist. I like mm -hmm. to say payroll assistant. Mm -hmm. They're actually assigned to my client's account. And when my client and our clients go online to Heartland Payroll and they mm -hmm. see our dashboard, they see my contact information and they see their payroll specialist, their payroll assistants okay. information online, and they can directly communicate with that individual versus what the norm and standard is in the industry is a call center is speaking with someone um, different every time yeah. that they call in, getting transferred to the East Coast, back to the West Coast, long yeah. hold times. So we do business differently. Um, our uh, focus is really on that, on providing an excellent client care experience. Yeah, it sounds like it. I like the fact that there's one person dedicated to that company that they can just call if they have any questions, especially because you're handling, you know, people's paychecks, <laughs> which yes. is very important, yes. <laughs> especially and, right now and yes, making sure and everything flows smoothly. Absolutely. Yeah. And I want everyone to know another distinction is that as, as a senior product advisor, I'm also a relationship manager for my clients. Therefore I'm the coach and I am always there to lend my support. Mm -hmm. And the payroll specialist, that payroll assistant is really the quarterback. So I'm the coach, they're the quarterback, but I stay on and provide mm -hmm. ongoing support to my clients 
to ensure that they're always having an excellent experience. So do you just focus in Orange County or because I know you said you're in Orange County or yes. just businesses only in Southern California? Great question, Kat. So one of the reasons that I chose Heartland is that I'm able to work with businesses all over the country, not just in Orange County, not just in Southern California. Mm -hmm. I have clients that are out of state and it's, uh, it's um, a great opportunity and, and uh, I take a lot of, of satisfaction knowing that I can help clients all over the United States, which, is a, which was part of my decision making in coming to Heartland, mm -hmm. whereas with the other companies that, that um, I had an opportunity with, uh, they tend to um, assign a specific territory mm -hmm. or zip code or, or cities. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there are pros and cons to that. I, I think that the the opportunity that I have with Heartland to be able to to work with clients not only local to me but outside of my area uh, is a, a wonderful thing and great opportunity. So thank you for that question. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Any other questions from anyone or Kat? Actually, yes. Coming from most of the business owners around our area, we would be we would I would like to go down to the the nitty gritty of it and talk about price point how is your charges calculated or how you do determine the charges great question janice thank you for that question so we charge based on the payroll frequency so weekly or semi monthly or bi-weekly or monthly so depending on that frequency we do establish a base fee for our service and that base fee goes to having the online system, to having all the reports online, to having access to their payroll specialist, unlimited access to the payroll specialist, unlimited access to me as a relationship manager. That base fee goes to Heartland Payroll deducting the taxes, the tax liability from the bank account, impounding those taxes and sending those taxes to the Employment Development Department of California if we're speaking about, you know, uh, businesses that are located here in California, which um, very likely most of everyone that's on uh, our, our meeting this afternoon has a business here in Southern California. So we handle making those tax payments to the EDD. We also handle making those tax payments to the IRS. At the completion of every quarter, we automatically file a quarterly tax report with the EDD and with the IRS. That's all included in the base fee. Included in the base fee, we also have direct deposit. So we don't actually charge extra for direct deposit. We do have a another component of the billing, um, which is delivery, if we deliver a package. So if we use a courier, there's a set fee per payroll, not per employee, but per payroll. Uh, we do offer FedEx, we do offer UPS, uh, we do offer uh, USPS as well. Oh, so we so do have different delivery options and that is another uh, potential component of the pricing. The other component would be um, number of payments. So we're very fair when it comes to um, what we charge. We don't charge for number of active employees on uh, that the company has on file with us. So let's say a company has 